Thank you. Thank you. It's great. How you doing? Good? Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'll talk about my relationship with my girlfriend. That's what I feel like talking about. We live together now. We moved in and we're going to get married in the spring and that's the plan. Some people find it out. They go, you're going to get married? You live together first? That's great. After you live together and you know the marriage will work out. I don't know if that's a good theory or not. Because if that's such a good theory, why not go all the way? Have the kids first. <laughs> then whether you not get married depends on how the kids turn out. I'm telling you, son, another poor girl like this, your mom and I will never get married. <laughs> that's a lot of pressure, Dad. You know, you're not really what I expected out of life either. The commitment's the whole thing, and it's, sometimes it's tough for guys to make the commitment because we tend to believe that there is a perfect woman waiting for us in the world somewhere. And if we wait around long enough, we'll find her. That's why it's so hard to make the commitment you're with the woman you're with now because you're afraid if you commit to her, then all of a sudden this magical, mythical woman would then appear. And the guy would be like, I do. Oh! Oh! Oh, I could have gone with her! But now I'm stuck with you! Oh, nothing's working out in my life. See? There's no basis in reality. You know, the women tend to be a little bit more realistic. They know there's, there's no such thing as a perfect man. They're just looking for a good fixer-upper. Oh, yeah, guys, they check us out in about a minute and a half. I can train him. See, I don't know what a woman's vision of a perfect man would be, but guys generally fantasize a perfect woman as a woman who's a total tramp in bed and then June Cleaver the second she steps out of it. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Would you like something to eat there? <laughs> it's a tough blow to your reality, guys, if that's your vision, if that's your fantasy, because in real life, you're liable to come running in the house like, dear, I think I broke my arm. And she's standing there in high heels and a garter belt going, take me now, jungle man. <laughs> I'm getting confused here. I wanted to be nurtured. Because we guys love that nurturing. Oh, that's one of the things we love about you women the most. Your ability to nurture us. So I don't care how rough and tough the guy is. As soon as he starts to get sick, he tries to press that mommy mode on his woman. <laughs> I know me, I head right for the bed. Cartoons. <laughs> Cartoons. <laughs> see, you women know we guys aren't as good at nurturing as you are. Oh, we'll take care of you if we see, like, bullet wounds. <laughs> but anything short of that, we have a kind of walk-it-off mentality. <laughs> what, do you got the flu? Well, get up and run six miles. That's the best thing you can do. You'll either break the fever or die. Either one's better than lying around in bed all day. Why don't you get a rag? Dust off the headboard while you're laying there. <laughs> you know, the whole approach to the relationship, women have more of a long-range thought process. See, guys never think any further than having you women fall in love with us. That's where our planning stops. Women thunk, they think all the way ahead to like naming the children. That's why when these issues come up for discussion later on, the woman's prepared to the guy to pop quiz. You know? what, what, what do you want to name him? Well, why don't we name him Jesse? How about Jesse? We'll name him Robert Johnson. Robert after your uncle who died in the war and Johnson after my mother's grandfather. All right, okay, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was just thinking I used to have a dog named Jesse. That's all I was thinking. Because <laughs> I think about having kids, I'm thinking I better have kids pretty soon, you know? Because I'm worried. I might have wasted my best stock already. <laughs> and now I'm getting down that Molary Curly material. <laughs> hey, Dad! Hey, Dad! <laughs> he's not bright, but he's a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. Spin on your elbow. Do that thing again there. Because we had the scare. My girlfriend and I, we had the scare. She came up to me a couple of weeks ago. I'm late. I'm late. Yeah. Whoa. I thought we'd have to move the wedding gate up a little bit, you know? And put a little turmoil in the house for a while. Much, much rougher on her because the woman doesn't know. It's really confusing to her at that point. Because the symptoms are the same for the beginning of the menstrual cycle as they are for the early part of the pregnancy. Woman has swollen, tender breasts, raging hormones. She's fatigued easily. God could have helped us out a lot here if he had given the woman different signals. Like, if the woman's pregnant, have her hair shoot straight up in the air. <laughs> if it's a boy, shoot to the right. If it's a girl, shoot to the left. You know, have this happen instantaneously with a moment of conception. So if you're trying to conceive a child, you know the results immediately. It's gone! Thank you very much. Great. 
I'm mean, really getting into being a homeowner. I mean, I love my house. Every time I walk out the front door, I get this Ben Cartwright attitude. You know? <laughs> my land! From here to the curb, my land! <laughs> Means I'm not real good at fixing things. That's the whole thing. I think every other guy can fix things, but I'm not real good at it. We had a little crisis at the house a couple of months ago. My girlfriend's from Texas. She comes out of the bathroom about 11 o'clock at night. Richie's no water coming out of faucet. Do something. I gotta take my makeup off. Do something. There's not much I was gonna do, you know what I mean, guys? It was 11 o'clock at night. Well, I can go in and bluff like any other guy would. Or well, I can fix it if I had the right tool. Need a metric screwdriver or something like that, you know. I mean, I do have my projects, you know. I put some shelving up in the living room one day. Big deal. She's sitting on the couch watching me. I come out, I put some nails on the wall, put the shelving up, the whole thing falls down. My solution, more nails. I put so many nails on that wall, I don't need the shelving now. I can put the stuff right up on the nail. She's sitting on the couch getting excited. Look at that. It's straight and everything. Look at that. That's great. Then I realized she'd like watching me do a guy thing, just like I enjoy her femininity. Like, say she didn't shave her underarms and legs for about 10 weeks. And I might not say anything, but I'd be thinking, this experiment's about over. We got one more day for the jungle queen look. I'd shave while she's sleeping. All right, here, all right, here. What's going on? You're having a nightmare. Go back to sleep. You'll be all right. I mean, there are differences, you know. Watching football, I like to watch football. Some women like to watch football. Some get upset guys watch too much football. If it upsets you, your man watches too much football, try this. Understand the game, sit down, watch it with him. Just see what happens. Because guys just go crazy. Oh, that's stupid. That's the dumbest play I've ever seen him run. I can't believe he tried to run that play. What are you yelling about? That was a third and short yarded situation. They went off dive tackle. It was a good call. They just ran into an overshifted defense. <laughs> I mean, you understand this? Well, let's see what else is on. <laughs> women spend more time thinking about the relationship than guys do. If you don't believe me, go to a bookstore, see how many self-help books on love that are geared towards women. There are stacks of them. There's women who love too much, women who love men who hate women, women who love men who look like their father but act like their sister. <laughs> There aren't any of these books for guys, because guys don't read them. Guys stop thinking, we stop plotting, we stop scheming. The moment a woman says, I love you. Woman says, I love you to the guy, to him, it's safe. He jumps up, dusts himself off, it's Miller time. <laughs> Women keep thinking ahead. That's why their love technology is far more advanced than guys. You know, guys, just when you think you're at the point where you can handle any question she comes up with, she'll get to another level on you. Usually springs it on you when you least expect it. Like you're just about ready to fall asleep at night. She'll go, let, let me ask you one more thing. Do you need me? Oh, this is a trick question. I can see that. Wait a minute, I'm waking up. Hold on, wait a minute, I'm waking up here. Hold on, need, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need air. I need water. I need food. Sometimes I need you to get me the food. How about that? Oh, where are you going? Come on. What kind of question is that at midnight? Come on! See, I think the fact women spend more time thinking about the relationship is one of the reasons why they make less mistakes during the relationship. They seem to learn faster from life's experiences. For a guy to learn, he basically has to go to court. <laughs> All right, I'm learning here, I'm learning here. Take it all, pal. I want to know everything before I die. See, guys, we don't pay attention to what's happening. We can't, we can't even win the argument after the argument. You know what I mean? Sometimes you finish the argument, then you try to decide who started the argument. Guys can't win this because we never remember what happened during the argument. <laughs> it's just a blur to a guy. But for some reason, women remember everything that happened. That's why the guy's a loser as soon as he says, well, look, babe, I didn't start this one. Oh, yes, you did. You walked over there and said that. Then you turned around and said that. Walked over there. She got... She's got charts. She's got figures. She's got a stenographer. Comes out of the closet. She's right, that's what you said. She's right, that's what you said. Thank you very much, folks.